All right, just a little update on the 70 gallon tank. Oh, it's looking really good. Fish are all doing well. Let's take a look and see what we got in here. Here's my discus fish, my deep, those are just my two deep red turquoise discus. Still a little on the shy side. There's my blue-faced San Mara. You know, they, 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 they're still a little stressed, but you can see, look, the colors are starting to really nice, they're coloring up nice. They're just starting to kind of pick at food and eat really well. Once again, they're a little on the bigger side, so sometimes they take a little longer to get you know used to tank and everything like that, but they're looking really nice, really, really nice. Let's see, let's check out the angel fish I got. I got my albino dantum angels. These are the wild looking Amazonian angels that were bred into the albino line. And they're just gorgeous. When they get, I have had these before, when they get bigger, they're just spectacular looking. I have my panda angel. Let's see if we can see his black spot. He only has a couple black spots, but he's he's like really crystal white looking, if you see. I mean, he's gorgeous. The black eye, really, really nice black eye. So this is not an albino. This is a, a white, almost like leucistic looking angelfish with black spots. That's why they call it panda. You can see it's in there. He's got some black spots on the other side. I have two of those guys. Uh, this guy's got a little bit more panda in him. There he is. And then I still have my whole harem of uh, female Vettas in here. Mixed in with a little, there's a female guppy. I got my neon tetras. They're doing really, really well. They've put on some nice size. I got them really small. There's my black, jet black guppy in the back. That's the male. I love them. I love, there's nothing cooler than a black guppy. I, I, I wish I had them as a kid, man. That's, they're just spectacular looking. And they're, everyone's doing well in here. I have my, my Cory catfish down there. Everyone just popped out. There's my male platinum betta. Gorgeous. His fins are starting to really grow in now. He's a, he's a little baby guy. He's, he's doing well in here with all these female bettas. They're not bothering him. He's not bothering them. It's good. Where's my long, thin panda catfish? Or panda quarry. He's back there. I saw him doing some work. He's he's really nice. I, I've never seen such a nice quarry cat. I mean, the, he's got really long fins. These are just the regular ones. Um, there's another guy in here. See if we can catch them. No, we'll see. We'll, we'll look for them after. And there's my neons. There's my three clown loaches that are doing well. They're they're like better than catfish. They eat everything that falls to the bottom. They're really 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 good about that. They add a lot of activity to the tank too. The tank sometimes could be a little slow, but they move things around. So they're they're good dither fish for sure. There's my albino bushy nose pleco. Doing well, growing a lot. He's gotten a really big. I haven't seen my golden nugget, Plyco. He's in here someplace. I don't know where he's. Oh, there's my, there's my long finned, long finned panda, Corey. Look at that guy. How gorgeous. Really nice. Let me see if I can zoom. Look at that guy. Really nice long fins. He's got the panda markings, the black, and they can get his body a little whiter. The tail's really white. I mean, he'd be perfect. I mean, that's, I should have gotten more of those. He's like a real showpiece almost. Yeah, I really like him a lot. All right, what else we got in here? Look at that galaxy beta. Really nice. You see now, as I'm sitting here and the, the, the disc is seeing me in there, they're kind of getting used to me sitting here. They're coming out now and they're playing a little bit. You can see, as soon as the disc has come out and they don't feel as shy, their colors start to really pop a lot. So, they're gonna be, once they're like, when they're fearless and they're just um, swimming around the tank like everything else, 
gonna say flying around the tank. Once they're swimming around without fear, this tank is gonna be spectacular. I got a little algae back on the aqua decor background. Hopefully that my cleanup crew in here is gonna eat that up. There's more fish in here now, so there's gonna be more waste products. I'm gonna have to do some more water changes more frequently, obviously. Uh, but I think, you know, once the, the, the tank reaches like a homeostasis, a balance uh, with the nitrates and, you know, it, it, it cycles a little even better than it is, I think we'll be fine. There's enough live plants. These are all live plants. There's my wisteria that I got. I got my Amazon sores, which are doing okay. You know, they're okay. They're, they're growing for sure. Some of the leaves are a little, getting a little weird looking. Java fern. So I, I've got, you know, quite a bit of, of, of live stuff in here, which is good. It's gonna, that's gonna eat up waste as well. Um, I think I have a good balance of, between the cleanup crew on the bottom, my quarry cats, my albino bushy noses that can get the algae, the, the, the clown lotions that pretty much eat anything that falls to the bottom. And then I have my, uh, my show pieces, which would be the discus, obviously and the, uh, the angelfish. And then I have my, my really nice dip of fish, my neons, which add a lot of blue color to the tank. I have my, my female bettas, which are really cool. I mean, think about the bettas, how they looked you know, 20 years ago. They were horrible looking. Now they're like gorgeous. And then I have my male better, if he ever grows his fins back there. You know, he'll, he'll be a showpiece. I hope everyone gets along. You know, at some point, I don't know, the you know, discus fish are cichlids, same thing with angels. I don't know if they're gonna get aggressive. Hopefully not. They're they're really not aggressive fish, and if you keep them well fed, it should it should the tank should be pretty pretty solid. So I'm really kind of happy with what I'm seeing right now. It's again really nice looking tank. It uh, kind of envisioned what I wanted it to look like, and this is pretty much it. I, I would love to put another couple of discus in there. I just don't think there's enough room in here at this point. If I didn't go with all the angelfish, I think it would be fine, but I did. So I got four angels. These, you know, these angels are gonna get bigger. The discus can get bigger too. Knowing myself, I'm gonna probably want a bigger tank. My wife will divorce me though, with all the snakes and all the, the pond stuff I have. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it, but. Anyway, this is, uh, this is the update on the 70 gallon. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Hopefully your new year has been good to you, better than 2020. Once again, do what you love. If you love fish, man, buy a fish tank. It's very peaceful. It's very relaxing. It's uh, it's a it's like a, a little packet of nature in a little box, basically. And you can create your own ecosystem like I did here, you know, with live plants, sand, different types of fish that all kind of coexist at different sizes. And I've done a lot of fish tanks. I've done the monster fish tanks. I got the monster ponds outside. We're going to be, you know, continuing to showcase Matter of fact, I have a leak in one of my, uh, my the little mini pond. I'm, I'll show you that maybe uh, in a couple days and what my solution is gonna be. But for now, man, as far as the fish tank goes, this is, uh, this is something that I'm really kind of excited about and proud of and watching this thing evolve.